Hi right, guys, this is Gene Jensen with BassResource.com. Let's talk about a rig that's not very well known in the fishing industry. Um, most of you know what a swim bait hook is or a, or a keel weighted hook, if I can pick it up. It's got your uh, some the lead molded around the shank of the hook and it's got a little uh, a hitchhiker on the on the eye of it. But uh, most people think that it's only used for those hollow body swim baits and things like that. But there are guys that for several year, years have been using it for just about any soft plastic. Specifically, Rage Tail products is kind of what has gotten it to be popular. So it's called a Rage Rig. And uh, I'm going to show you how to rig it today and I'm going to show you how to fish it. What you want, it, what you want or what's ideal is a, is a bait when it's falling, it falls on the horizontal. And that's what these do. That weight pulls them straight down so they fall on the horizontal and you get those claws that just flutter. The phenomenal thing about this bait is it is virtually weedless. It will go through grass, it will go through timber, you can pitch it into the thickest cover and get it right back out. Um, just hold on tight. Uh, the bass will snag it on the fall because a lot of times it has a slow fall rate. Even with the 3 8 ounce it has a fairly slow fall rate. Um, the way I rig it is first of all I start off with a, a very good swim bait hook. These are heavy wire weighted hooks. They're made by a company called Moner Hooks. The reason I use Moner Hooks is because they were designed specifically for the Rage, the rage rig. So um, the guy, the, the, I guess the guy that owns it, Matt, he, uh, he loves that rig so much that he said, well, I want to make the perfect hook for it. And that's kind of, that's pretty much what he's done. You got a nice heavy wire hook, uh, you got a, a nice stainless steel hitchhiker and a, uh, and a lead, uh, and the lead is perfect on that shank of the hook and it's not too far up. It's not too far down. It causes that, that hook to fall or the bait to fall horizontal. Oh, excuse me. I just ate breakfast and it's killing me. And it's got a nice wide gap so there's plenty of room for that plastic to fall into um, when the when the bass bites. There's plenty of room so you get plenty of bite. It's hard to, hard to shake a fish from these hooks. I tried to shake a few yesterday and they just hooked themselves. Very good, very good hooks. Um, I guess you could use any keel weighted hook. The main reason why I use a motor hook is because it is uh, it was made for this. But uh, well, let's let's take it out on the water. I'll talk a little bit more about it out there. Let's fish it, kind of show you guys how to do it, and uh, and we'll go from there. All right, we got here. I got out here on the lake, and uh, what I'm fishing here is a uh, is a rage craw, and I've put it on a a four aught quarter ounce um, motor hook. It is a this is a phenomenal rig. I'm gonna try to show you how to fish it. Uh, looks like the bass are getting up and getting ready to spawn, so I don't know how many females are going to still be here. It's still water temperature is 62 degrees, so they may already be up in the shallow spawning. But uh, what it is is I take my rage craw and I and I rig it like I showed it in the, showed you in the cabin, and then I dip the the, uh, the claws in in JJ's Magic and some Chartreuse JJ's Magic. So this is a green pumpkin craw with JJ's Magic Chartreuse on the on the claws, and uh, man, that garlic smell and that that color really really seems to drive them nuts. They can pick up on that chartreuse a whole lot better. And as many of you guys know, chartreuse is a uh, color you find in a lot of bait fish. Um, bluegills and, and shad. There are no shad in this lake, but there's plenty of bluegill. And I thought that was a bite, but it's a piece of grass. Now when you throw this thing out, this rig is so versatile. Oh, that fish. Whoa. <laughs> it wasn't grass, it was a fish. Ooh, nice fish. Right where it needed to be, right on the drop, right on top of that drop, heading back into a spawning flat. I'm fishing this on 15 pound test, Iser Line Triple X with a uh, Dobbin 702C. It's the same thing I'll throw a light car uh, Texas rig on. Come on. Nice chunky male. At least I think that's a male. 
these motor hooks are pretty good. Like I said, they are designed for this rig. They nice and strong and sharp. Even with that 15 pound, 15 pound test, I can get a good hook set into this fish. There he goes. Let him go. Thanks, big guy. The Rage Rig is pretty easy to fish. If you've ever fished a Cinco or you have confidence in a Cinco, you should be able to pick this up pretty quick. You just cast it out, let it sink on a slack line, it falls in that horizontal position just like a Cinco. It just has all those appendages that kick on your on your bait. You know, you can, th you can throw a lizard, you can throw a, a space monkey, a Rage Space Monkey is one of my favorites on here. But basically that's it for a Rage Rig. Um, like I always say, visit BassResource.com for the answer to all your questions about bass fishing. Subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, and, and hit the like button on this video. It helps people find the video better. Thanks. Have a great day and enjoy this new rig.